guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. So I thought I'd give you the walk around about uh, on this uh, this this old Corvette here. Uh, yeah, the, we're we're gonna sell the vet. Uh, we're not gonna keep it. But uh, so I thought I'd give you a walk around on it, and we're gonna raise the hood, and I'm gonna show you what we got to do uh, to get this thing drivable. It, it does run. It will start up and run. Uh, I think I got a video clip of that, but. It's not drivable, and apparently I was told. Now I don't know, because I had, you know, I don't I haven't had it running long enough to to uh, take it for a drive. Of course, I still got to put the supercharger on and a couple other things. It's about 90% complete, 85% complete on the engine side of it. But uh, so I don't know if it does have transmission problems. I'm not sure. Um, so we're just gonna have to see what we can do with it. Now I'll show you the car. I'll, I'll walk you around it and then we'll raise the hood and check it out. So it's just a uh, what is it? A C4. I do believe it's a 1990. I thought it was a 94. but uh, It does have the side pipes. The functional side pipes. They are hooked up. That is the exhaust. Of course you can see it does need a good cleaning job got the spinners on it um, he's got the it is too important injection but it is not a supercharged factory engine it is a supercharged engine but it is an add-on so it did not come out of the factory supercharged uh, the, the paint is still fairly decent there are a couple blemishes on it uh, that I'm probably going to have to try to buff out. See, this is scratched here. So, some of this will buff out, but that's a scratch. This are scratches. You know, it's not a, uh, you know, it's not a high dollar vet by any means. It's nothing special. I know we talk about it a lot, but um, it's not, you know, one of the very expensive, really expensive ones. You know, it's, uh, Here's your here's your fuel tank right there. That's the fuel tank, and the top is not power on these because they're they're very light. I mean to take the top down inside here. I'll show you. There's a there's a button here you can push down to release that, and there's one inside here, up inside of here. They they kind of hide the buttons. It releases the top and then you got your regular ones in here uh, the interior is okay seat wise seat wise uh, the seats are pretty good shape it is getting somewhere here because this is where you slide in you know because this thing is like it's kind of like a race car it does have a nice stereo system in it um, see one of these should be a boost gauge I don't know if they're hooked up or not so I'll, I'll have to check this all out and um, and see what all's working, what all's not. I see he's got a, I don't know if you can see it right there, he's got a toggle switch for something. I'm not sure what it's for. Um, but, so, you know, we're, we just, once we get it running, I'll have to go over it and, uh, let's see. Trying to get the hood latch here, guys. I'm a little guy, and this thing is just, it's kind of hard for me to get a hold of stuff. You got the security light blinking. So. Apparently, when you lock the door, sometimes the alarm will get set, or you'll get locked in it, <laughs> or whatever. So, there we go. Big old, hang on a second, guys. Big old fiberglass hood here. And that should flip over there, and that's what holds it up. It does have the Paxton supercharger. The supercharger I got in, the, in some boxes in the house. Um, so, like I said, we got all this stuff up here. This is for 
the uh, it's taped off because it's for the uh, alternator. We've got another one down here. I'm not sure what it's for. Now, I thought on some of these, see the supercharger is going to set right up here on top. Okay. I thought some of these you could put the uh, the alternator in here but I can I, I noticed I did find a picture he took a picture of it when he first got it done and they had the alternator sitting over here and so it was turning so the alternator would have been turning backwards but it must have been charging um, but I have seen them also where they're the alternators in here so I'm not sure like I said I, I didn't take it apart I didn't even know what how they had it until I seen them pictures on it so you know that's going to need the cover put back on it I got some vacuum lines there's a couple vacuum lines I have to figure out you know where they go there is some there's a couple bolts missing um, like okay like here's here's a bolt here that they've cross threaded and put in crooked this is aluminum head okay now so what I'm gonna have to try to do is I'm probably gonna have to pull this header clear off because I do know that the header gasket is leaking there because it couldn't be tightened right we do have another header gasket set what's concerning with me is they had a heating issue it was overheating on them so I'm thinking since it had a headset in there what's concerning me is I'm you know I'm thinking he had to pull a head off of it I'm pretty sure it might have been this side by the way the looks of things are um, there is one brand new head gasket in the box so what's concerning me is they put one head gasket on I don't know why because they give you two for a reason so I don't know why they would have only put one head gasket on it okay let's go around the other side um, it's beyond me I, I don't know why why that would have been done um, I do believe this mounts right up in here somewhere I think it goes here from the looks of it like I said it's a puzzle for me I didn't see it come apart and I've never dealt with the Paxton superchargers before which is also known as a blower yes it's an under the hood blower I got these two things here and I don't think they're hooked up anymore uh, so I'm going to have to find out, trace some things for the boost gauge and find out if it was even hooked up at all or not because we don't know. Uh, see there's another wire here. I know this was a live wire. I taped that one up myself. It's another one that goes to the alternator as well. Um, there is a couple bolts missing. And there's one right back in there in the top there I think there's a total of three maybe four um, I thought there was more than that on this side but I do know there's one there missing yeah, these two bottom ones are in let's go check the other side out um, let's see yes there's one down there so that'll be two and pretty sure there was another one up in here uh, I remember I found yes that's two two missing uh, there is a couple more I'm just not sure where they're at right now uh, she's got to go get her mom in a little bit she's bringing her back from the nursing home she's going to come and stay with us so I have to try to get this going so we can get her some money. So she can have a little money, you know what I mean? So, and he did have a battery tender on it, but she took the, of course, you know, had to take the battery tender off to, uh, you know, get the car down here. And then 
I did hit the key on it yesterday just to see how much charge was in it and uh, there wasn't a lot of charge because I rolled the windows down to put the top up and then I rolled the windows back up and uh, it just um, you know they were running slow you could tell it was here Bruno you want inside the vet he likes getting inside there he loves that vet whenever I work on it he, he likes to come with me and so but you know it's it is what it is um we do need to get it going or you know if i can get a fair offer of what it might be worth now but the problem is you know once to tell them it might have transmission issues and the story i'm getting is it wasn't shifting right well that could be a multiple thing that don't mean the transmission itself is bad you know it could be it could be in the computer system it could be uh you know something in the linkage although the linkage feels fine i mean i i just don't know uh, until i get it running to take it for a drive and find out but i wanted to give you uh, an update you know on this thing it's not our car well you know she offered it to us she says you guys you go, are you guys going to keep the vet and we said no mom you know we'd like to sell it to, so you can have a little money which, you know, she agreed, but she said, you know, that's fine, but whatever we wanted to do. Uh, but I think that's what we're going to do with it. Now, if it was a 69 Camaro or something, sure. That garage would be cleaned out and it would be sitting in there. Oh, I had a comment. Uh, asked if it would fit in the garage or something. And um, technically, yes, if I clean the garage out, it would fit in there, but barely. Um this thing is longer than what what they look you know I mean it's it's longer than a truck but the problem is it's so wide uh, once I got it in there I would have no room to walk around and work on it okay so yeah that was a good question so uh, thanks for asking that and uh, that way I can answer it for you yeah so that's why it's got to be out here that that's just a single car garage and that's it there's no as you can see there's no man door on the side even so it's not even a car and a half which in order to work on something of this nature inside a garage it needs to be at least a garage and a half this is just a single car garage now we did keep the uh our core our convertible in there a few times it, it and uh it was uh barely enough room to get out and now that i got my toolboxes and desk and stuff in there there's just no way i could work on something like this in that garage uh, even just nosed in I wouldn't have room to to walk around this thing is so white hell looking tires you know and um, you know I would have trouble nosing that truck in there working on the truck um, it all all them garages are for is just to park things in so no it's not big enough so thanks for asking that and I hope that answered your question um, so yeah that's just like i said that's just the update it's, um they never had it dynoed but they're they're saying it's pushing 700 horse and i don't think so because it's just a 350 which is a 5.7 liter so it's a 350 um i'm thinking it might be pushing around 600 horse maybe if it's running good and tuned right, you got to tune these pretty much with a computer. Um, but if it, if you got it dialed in pretty close to where it should be, it might be pushing 575 to 600. I think is what I got out of mine. I had a had an 88. Well, one of mine. I had an 88. This is a 90. And um, I had a supercharger on it. It was a wind, I think, but it wasn't a Paxton. It was a little different setup, but I was pushing like, uh, I think I was getting 604, 604 horse out of the engine, and I was putting 575 to the wheels, 575 horse to the wheels. So that was pretty impressive. Not bad. Because you lose a lot of horsepower from here to back there. You know what I mean? because uh, it's got to go through your transmission and everything and you know depending on your gearing and your transmission your rear end you know stuff like that what size tires you're running uh, is going to de depend your it's going to determine your horsepower at the wheels 
uh, you know, like brake horsepower and stuff, what they call, and like a lot of people say, you know, uh, like they'll say, be talking, you know, I got 750 horse under the hood, okay, what do you get into the wheels? And a lot of people won't know that. But uh, I did have my my engine dynode in my uh, Suburban. Uh, I put a 400 small block in it. Of course, it had the 400 transmission, 400 turbo tranny. Uh, I I punched out 30 over. I bored it 30 over. I ended up coming out with about a 409. Is what we called it. We called it the 409. Of course, it was a 400 bore to a 409. It wasn't a real 409, which was a shame, but they're hard to find. Uh, but that's another story. The gearheads know what I'm talking about. That was a, an accidental engine that turned out to be a great engine. But it was bored out to a 409. Um, I was I dynoed. Uh, what was it? I dynoed it. I run the dyno on the back wheels, just the back because it was four wheel drive. I run the dyno on the back wheels. And to the back wheels, I was getting 555 horsepower almost even to the back wheels. So that was pretty impressive. And um, I did um, kind of, you know, I run a high volume uh, fuel pump, uh, roller rockers, uh, high dome pistons. It had some good compression. So I didn't have the, the engine dyno. But I did have the truck dyno, and I was getting 555 horse to the wheels. So that was pretty impressive on a 7,000 pound vehicle. But this thing, like I said, I mean, it's dirty. Um, I do have the badge that goes on there. It's just the Chevy, a Chevy symbol. But, yeah, it's not the sought after vet. But, like I said, and, and we're not going to keep it. It's not ours. But... I do enjoy working on it. I love to hear it run because it is noisy and it rumbles and uh, it vibrates the ground. Uh, yeah, and it's a Chevy. So, <laughs> so anyway, you guys. But uh, as far as uh, it's just, it's just not us, you know. It's just, um, just not us. So. But, uh, yeah, it needs some work, so we're going to try to get it straightened out. I want to at least get it to where I can, you know, drive it and see if it's not shifting or what's going on with the tranny, if, if I can maybe service it. I don't know yet what's going on with it. I don't know a lot about the transmissions in these things, okay? So, um, they, they are, they're weird. They're a weird setup, and I don't know if I can get you under here to show you or not. Uh, you really can't see it. But it is a very, it's a very weird setup as opposed to like a regular, you know, transmission in a vehicle. Um, but so we'll just have to see. Uh, maybe there's nothing wrong with it. But I, I do think I remember her dad telling me one time that it did have an issue with the transmission. We didn't go into detail on it. Um, there should be a piece of rubber that goes across here. So I think she's got all that stuff in boxes for me. She brought everything she said that was in and around it. Because uh, I couldn't go with her yesterday. So um, so that's fine. Uh, whatever whatever we need, you know, we'll get later on. So, yeah, this is going to be a nightmare because I don't, I don't even know if it's all there. Um, but, I mean, you can tell by the plates... Of where the you know some of the plates that bolt on to the uh, uh, to the blower the supercharger itself you can see where they're a little dirty you can kind of tell where they go and where the bolts go but what bolts you know there's a bunch of spacers that go in here because I know something's gonna you know for the for the alternator you know I'm gonna have to have spacers because that old alternator is gonna be sitting up here and it's going to be bolted on back here. Now I know there's, uh, from the looks of the picture, there's something that comes from here over to the supercharger, uh, like a brace. So it's all pretty much chrome stuff. And uh, so you know, it's it's just stuff we gotta we gotta figure out where the hell it goes. You know what I mean? So and figure out what's going on with the 
with the security system. I guess it'll lock in sometimes or something. But anyway, there she is, guys. There's the vet. Am I zoomed in again? Big ass hood on that thing. <laughs> the hood's half as big as our little truck. But so yeah, I just wanted to give you an update and let you guys know what was going on. We did not go buy a Corvette. <laughs> we kind of inherited one, but we're gonna take care of this for her mom. So uh, <laughs> I don't know. It does look good in the driveway. It would look better cleaned up in the driveway, but. Um, yeah, I mean, the motor sounds good, although I didn't have it running long. What you guys seen in that video, if you saw it, uh, is, you know, that's all I that's all I had it running. I just wanted to make sure it was going to fire. I fired it. It does sound pretty good. There's, It doesn't seem to be any knocks in it. It sounds like uh, I got the valves adjusted pretty close. So... You know, we just uh, we just have to get together and make sure there's no leaks, uh, you know, no coolant leak, no coolant leak, coolant leaks, no um, you know oil leaks, no compression leaks, which I'll have probably have to run a compression test on it. Um, it does sound pretty good. It does feel like it's got some good compression, but we just got to get you know we got to burn them bridges as we go along. Uh, but the main thing now, what, what I'm into now, is I've got to get them bolts put in there. Okay. And then, um, I'll have to, um, then I'll have to figure out the, that big ass, uh, supercharger. So, alright, like I said, just wanted to give you guys an update on this, on this old girl here. I'm not sure what the mileage is on it. I looked one time and I, I forget, but yeah, I mean, cleaned up, it's not a bad looking car, but it it, it just it needs some love, you know, I, he started getting sick and he kind of, you know, he couldn't work on it anymore, you know, they had stuff sitting on the back of it in the garage, that's oil, so that'll come off, but, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see what happens, you know, he's got the, you know, supercharged. This is not a supercharged car. You can buy these badges. You know, this is L98. It's not an L98. It is a C4. Uh, this is not. Uh, someone's glued these on. But see, it says right there C4 Corvette. Okay, but. Uh, so. Tires are a little low. But that's just from setting this thing hasn't hasn't been running five years. Well, I got it running, but it hasn't been driven and hasn't been uh, on the road in five years. So it's time we get this thing, get it to where we can at least get it on the road and find out transmission. If transmission's okay, even better. Um, but you guys are going to come with me on this little journey. We'll do what we can do with it. If uh, we get a good offer on it before it's done, they want to buy it as is, that's a possibility as well. We can't give the car away, but then again, if you look up the prices of these things, they're not a high dollar car. You know, so there we go. So, that being said, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Again, just a quick update on that. Uh, we'll get a weed eater out here in a little bit and see if we can. Uh, See if it's going to run. If it does, that'll be great. I got, I'm going to sell it tomorrow. Uh, we're not under the stay-at-home order down here in Florida no more. So, But we still wear our masks and stuff. We're still uh, social distancing, but we are not under a stay-at-home order. I know Ben was talking about that last night. I guess they are until, uh, what, May 25th, I think he said, or something like that. So hang in there, buddy. Um, so yeah that's why i'm going selling so i'm not you know breaking any rules it's just you know plus that's that's kind of like my bread and butter is selling so i need to get you know get back back on track with that so there's going to be a bunch of us set up down here and uh we're going to try to sell tomorrow so i'm going to check out the weed eater that i bought yesterday uh, i may check out the push mower today i don't know i'm supposed to be taking it easy today I, I, I just can't sit around, you know, monkey's like, oh, you're not going to do nothing tomorrow, are you? I said, no, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make a little video. You're not going to pull on anything, are you? I don't know why.
she tries to get me to lie to her. <laughs> she knows I'm gonna mess around because she's gotta go get her mom. While she's gonna get her mom, I'm gonna get the weed eater out and I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Alright, so thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for some more awesome videos of this awesome little car here. Um, so one good thing is though, I didn't get to take her dad for a drive in it like I wanted to before he passed away. But in the video where we first started this thing up, her dad saw that video from the from the nursing home. He did get he 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 binge watched my videos that night. That's what mom said and laughed his ass off at some of them. So he did get to hear his car run again before he passed away. And I I kind of felt bad about that. And then monkey mentioned, well, didn't you do a video on that? I was like, oh, I did. And he, her dad did watch it because she brought it up for him to watch and say look he's getting closer and I guess he got a big smile on his face he was happy to hear this thing run again so he did get to hear it run before he, he passed away so that's good at least he heard it run I know it's through a video but he knows it's going in the right direction now so thanks for watching guys appreciate it Shea Bear the myth man legend golf now bye bye guys take care